Iron Stone here, also known as Gentleman Ian, and in this video, I will be doing a tutorial. And, but before I get into that, I want to start off by saying two things. Thank you guys so much, because this uh, Redstone Printer video, if you have not seen it, click on, if you're on a PC, click on the annotation right now on the screen, or uh, if you're on a tablet or any other devices, then go down to the description, it should be the first link. So thank you so much. Now this is the most popular video on my channel. Over 2,000 views, guys. Thank you so much. And overall, my channel has more than 5,000 views, which is really fantastic, guys. Now I have made a plan for this. I have made a thank you video for this, and I'll be uploading that sometime really soon. But in this video, let's get to the tutorial. And I actually got three requests for it. Now I want to say really sorry to all this. Uh, three of my video watchers that requested this uh, I mean video watchers you can call them viewers yeah my three viewers that requested the tutorial for this map but I I replied them that I'll do it but now it's just too late but I'll still want to do it so here here are their comments so let's get to the tutorial okay guys so as you can see the printer is way back there these are some of the design that I can came up came up with to compress my original one because it was so so like messy so I'm gonna be dividing this tutorial into three pieces, okay? So here they are. First is the chest, I mean clock, and the chest control, which will flow the items one by one. And the second is the item sorter system, and also the block placer. Third is the final, which is piston and the work summary. Okay, so this is the first first part, which is um, let's get to let's get the materials first here. Uh, this is what you will need for all this, all the type of wools. Now you can use as many colors as you want. I'm only gonna be using six, but keep in mind when you make a filter, you're gonna have to like use a different. Uh, yeah, so if, if you t decide to make ten uh, of the colors or all the colors in Minecraft, then you're gonna have to do some extra work. But it's, it's all repetitive. As soon as you get one 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 of them, then it should be the, all the same. Okay, I think I forgot to show you what's in there, but underneath there, it's a clock, which is powering uh, this. Oh, yeah, there's a clock, really slow one, which is powering this torch over time. But as soon as you press this lever, this is where the block, uh, the power gets to that block and starts powering the entire system. So let's get building. Okay, the first thing you need is four by two area like that, and it should be four deep. Next, place all repeaters like this, eight of them. All should be full delayed. And then, um, as you can see, this repeater is facing that block. Oh my god, I forgot to get the dust. So then you're going to place the rest of them just here and here. And then let's power the clock. There we go. And there should there should be a rest of them towards here and above there. And there we go. And now you can cover the entire thing. Okay guys, I actually accidentally made this 5 deep, so that's why uh, the torch was actually one block lower than here, so I just fixed it. Okay, so, but the next step from here is you're going to go 3, I mean 4 blocks high, put the piston like this, and then you can place a redstone lamp above that and a lever above it. Now you'll notice, as soon as it hit this lever, it allows me to get an output once in a while. Uh, come on, anytime. Oh, I forgot to stop the clock. So let me. Yep. Okay. Now, now it should be getting powered. There we go. And if I turn it off, it does it. So now, in this repeater, in this side, you're gonna build this lamp thing. Now, it's your choice if you wanna build it. It just looks cool, I guess, like a light or something. And this side, a block above it, a torch, and a block above that. Then you're gonna put two blocks right here. Oops. Two chest. I mean, a double chest. Now, there's going to be a hopper below that chest, but it's going to be facing that way. Got to get that too. Great. Facing that way, and that way. That way. Oh my God. That way again. And then. There we go. So, idea is if I put anything in there, it's not going to get sucked down from the bottom. But if I press the lever, the clock's going to start, and it's going to take one by one item, as you can see. Okay guys, the next step is, if you're building exactly like this, then go ahead to the lamp side and leave spaces of how many colors. Now I'm using six colors, so I'm going to leave one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Wait, actually, not not don't count this area, but one, two, three, four, five, six, and just count one more extra. Then break all these six blocks so you have hoppers above them. Two, three, four, five, oops, five. What? Yeah, five, six. And then you're gonna have a uh, hopper. I mean, hopper going into this one, and then this one here. This one should be facing inside out. So the whole trench should go like this to the bottom and all the way across. At the end, you should have a chest. Now this is for if they put something like a color or something that does not belong in the filter, it will just end up here. It will just end up here. Okay, so now we're done with the first part. I just have to label with all, all the colors, so I'm just gonna do that. And we're done with the first part. Okay, the second part is item shoulder and block placer. Now, as you can see, for this you'll need a command block, and if you don't know how to get it still, then uh, this is the command for it. Slash give, space your player name, and space ID, which is 137. Now, you're going to be needing 22 blocks of each color. I'll explain to you why just in a second. Now, when I've placed a block like this, actually I made a mistake. It's supposed to go one down doesn't matter if they're not the same color okay just like diagonal uh, from this hopper line and then you're gonna grab uh, another hopper which I forgot again great it's gonna be facing those blocks that you just placed all six of them because you're using six colors now you're gonna place a block just next to those hoppers all the way around and, or however much color you got on them or how much like if you get 10 colors then you're going to be doing the same process for 10 of them now comparators on next to all of them repeater just below that block facing that way or uh, opposite way of where you place your comparator okay then a block above that as well and then grab a redstone dust uh, where there's no redstone dust okay and then go ahead and place it like this. I'll explain to you why right now in a second. And then fill each of those hopper with a just wait a second, not yet. So like this. The trick is each of the each of these hoppers will have twenty two items in there. And as soon as a yellow let's say you're printing like a yellow line, okay? So the yellow wool comes all the way around here, it's this part, it will have twenty three items, which will trigger now when you have 22 items, it will only power this block right here. It will only, this computer will release only one tick. But if you have 23 in there, this will release two. Which will power this block, powering this repeater. Which will power this block right here. Now, it's going to be the same for all of them. So if you're going to place rest of uh, torch in that line. Now since, uh, you know, you're going to have 22 in there and one excess will drop down to this hopper. So of course, we're going to be needing a line that's going to be going through all of those. Oh, mistake. All those. Let's get out of here. There we go. So now, any or probably all of the colors that ends up here will end up in this chest. There we go. So that's the part. Now you can fill all of these chests with uh, the color that you pick. Now this one is yellow. This one can go lime. And so, so on and so forth. Okay, guys, the only thing that's left to do now is. From those redstone um, dust that is not powered, like I explained, if any items get here, I'll explain you this right now. Wait a second, let me just put one right there. As you can see, uh, whatever. So, if any item, extra item comes here, this will power. Then you're gonna break four blocks in front of all these redstone dust. This is the amount of delay you need because if two blocks come at the same time, so printer doesn't like misplaces them or something. So, go ahead, put four lines. All of them and they all should be fully delayed okay the second part is the item sorter and a block placer we already built the item sorter here and block placer you just need to like dig down two blocks here put a command block right here and cover it with a block so we can do that but the thing is these command blocks are gonna need a coordinate to place a block right like duh so for that uh, we need to set up a piston work and wait a second my chest is over there Grab this, okay. Yeah. 
I'll explain what this book is for in a bit. So you come out here and from the chest just coat like just build a wall in front of all the redstone. And counting this chest just leave one block of space. Now you can start putting your piston starting from this wall. Like you don't place them on the back there, then uh, the redstone will have difficulty. So put it on the front right right here. I guess you can put it on the back, yeah you can put them on the back. Actually no. I'm just gonna stop changing keep yeah just put you here uh put your okay so uh build a wall around the uh, around the chest like this leave one space put a piston right here above uh, one block from the ground now since a chest is nine by six you're gonna have to put nine pistons here like that so two three four five six oh, six one seven eight and then nine and uh, at this side, you're going to be needing a piston right here. So if any blocks come here, it pushes off this way. To do that, place a block right here next to the piston. Put a torch up, uh, below it. Then put a, a block next to the torch. A redstone dust. And a block of quartz. Bingo. So, I mean, not block of quartz, any block. Oh my god, that's loud. So if I keep placing blocks here, it will just push them off this way. And as soon as it gets to the last one, it also needs to trigger. So let's just go like this. Right here. Should be a little uh, redstone dust here. Block. A repeater there. So this will power this piston. But to power the, the whole line of piston, you got to place a repeater like this. Go one block above. You don't need to power this twice. It's already going to get powered. Go all the way around long I mean and then just connect all the redstone sorry for the lag the thing is I have a couple clocks running throughout the system so okay that's the whole setup now out this morning sign go all the way you see yeah just like that now you can cover up all the redstone and now you need the coordinate of this block right here so you can tell. So now to take that, just let me just break the western torch. Come down here, F3, 410, 57, and 47. 410, 57, 47. 410, 57. Okay, so uh, okay, I'm going to forget the corners. Wait a second. Set block. Um, why do I have caps on? I'm going to go, in this case, I'm going to put uh, 410. 57 and 47 and now you're going to place minecraft and then uh, uh, wool and this is coming up with zero but um, just to explain as you can see this just, just got right here but it didn't push it why not because there's not a lesson torch great so as you can see this is how the system will work but the thing is uh, for different IDs you got to use different numbers here so that's why I have this book for yellow it's 4, for uh, lime it's 5, for blue it's 11, and so on and so forth. But uh, if you want to use different colors, now, you can go on wiki and search it up, but what I did to figure out the colors, you know, I just went to Google and find it. So, it's the idea. So if you want to find it yourself, just go set block, tilde, tilde, I mean, not set, sorry. Tilde, 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 Minecraft, wool. And then I experiment to like one is this and two is this and you know like this. You can do this way too. So here we go for different colors. You're gonna be placing different commands. So let's just take this command, copy it. I don't know which one is the white one. So I think this is the white one. No, this is gonna have some difficulties. Oh man, where's the white? Okay, this, there we go. This command goes here, which is this one black, and that is red. Uh, what's the idea for black? Black is 15 and red is 14. Oh wow. Okay, there we go. There we go. I've copied the command so I don't have to write it all over again. Blue. Wait, what? Oh, oh. Blue, I was scared for a sec. Blue, lime, and yellow, which is. I will set everything up and I'll be right back. Actually, guys, I, I knew I said that I'll be right back, but I just wanted to show on the camera so there's no confusion between you guys, you know, because I still struggle sometimes to, like, do this. Oh, okay, I lost the command. So blue, which is what? 
seven. I cannot remember numbers. Lime is five and yellow is four. Okay, let's just do this. Now everything is set up. All you have to do is place a block of event. Now you can use colors if you're a visual like redstoner. I'm that too, but I'm just too lazy too. So this is the entire design. So if you build something here, uh, let's get yourself uh, over some rules. For example, I'm just gonna take some black and take some yellow and green. Let's just take black wool and just. Now for time purposes, I don't want to make it too slow because to print the whole thing it takes a little while. Let me just like make a little one. Let's just put two black, one green, and then two yellow on the chest. Start the clock and let's watch it print. I mean, couple blocks, I guess. As you can see, you'll see the system. It will take one block by one block, and one of them should get powered in a bit. Oh, there we go. You saw it. A block just got placed. Bingo, it's that easy. See, that's why there's all this delay because I put two uh, black wool right here so it doesn't get disturbed. And there's it goes. Bada bing, bada boom. You can just turn it off. And that is the whole design. Now you can cover it and just make it look the pretty you want, or you can just, I guess, look at mine. The download link for my printer map the will be in the description. And for this map that I'm currently using will be also in the description below. So you guys can check it out and that's it guys thank you so much for watching make sure if that helped you or at least give you some information please please subscribe me and also like my videos and i'll see you all later if you have any other if you want to learn any other wrestling things or and by the way i forgot that i'm gonna be uh, making a thank you video in a bit because i said that in starting i don't know if i did yeah, so i've uh, planned a map for it and that should be out pretty soon that's it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you all later